We begin with three officers now charged in the shooting death of eight year old Fanta Billity. Tonight, her family is responding. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. The three Sharon Hill officers are facing manslaughter and reckless endangerment charges in connection to the child's death. It was last August when Fanta Billity was shot and killed by police after gunfire erupted outside of a high school football game. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is outside the Sharon Hill Police Department with the full story. Alicia? Jessica, good evening. The attorney for the family of Fantability says their hope is that these charges hold those responsible accountable, all while forcing the Sharon Hill Police Department to look at how they train officers so this never happens again. They feel like uh, th that, that justice is being done. Officers charged. They were egregiously wrong. Sharon Hill police officers Devin Smith, Sean Dolan, and Brian Devaney each faced 12 criminal counts of manslaughter and reckless endangerment. A grand jury found the officers collectively fired their guns 25 times, injuring four people and leaving eight year old Fant's ability dead following a football game back on August 27th. These officers made a split second decision to return fire. Uh, we trust them to get that decision right, uh, and they got it horribly wrong. Witnesses told police 18 year old Hussein Strand and 16 year old Angelo Ford got into a verbal fight before shooting at each other. Two of those bullets flew in the direction of the officers who were stationed at the game to help people exit. The officers then allegedly returned fire, striking the little girl. But proving which officer fired the fatal shot may not be possible. Unfortunately, when the bullet struck something on its way from the gun to Fanta, uh, it destroyed the ability to microscopically compare it to the known projectiles that would be fired from those three police guns. The attorneys representing the three officers wrote in a statement, quote, these three good men are innocent and remain heartbroken for all who have suffered because of this senseless violence. While Ford awaits trial for other charges related to the incident, Strand pleaded guilty Tuesday to aggravated assault and illegal possession of a firearm. He'll serve up to 64 months in prison. And a preliminary hearing for the three officers is scheduled for January 27th. The borough is scheduled to meet here on Thursday to decide if they will keep their jobs. Reporting live in Sharon Hill, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Alicia, thank you.